We have another Young Indian with us, part of the Voice of the Young series. Hello, everyone. Good to be back. Right now, we have with us Gauri Arora. Uh, let's listen to her. Over to you, Gauri. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much, sir, for giving me a grateful for this opportunity. And I'm really very grateful for you for providing this platform to uh, students and like me and the other. I have seen some mitpeds also, which were of master students and the P and the PhD students and others also. And I was really fascinated. Like this is uh, something which uh, this is like my first opportunity to be on that. So okay. thank you so much for this. All right, let's proceed. And, yes. Sir. So, uh, hello everyone. I am Gauri Arora and I am pursuing currently economics honors from Delhi University regular and I'm, I'm in my final year now. So, uh, talking about my academic journey being this, it is kind of uh, not as planned as we think that after 12 we are going to do, then we are going to do this. It was not planned. It was more of, I say, I wanted to explore the fields like and even speaking of the interest, it changed with the classes from like, if I say about the school time, uh, the first I was very keen into science, like science was my thing. I wanted to do science all the time and mathematics was not my field as much. Okay. But as soon as class 10th come, uh, my my like interest at totally shifted from these two like for hours i could do the mathematics i could do solve problems even the new problem which i couldn't uh, like handle before but the concept is what i've studied but science was a bit got low interest then in uh, then in then class 11 where we have to choose the uh, all the streams fortunately i got 90 percent in class 10 so all the three streams were open and uh, many uh, advised me to take science as it is more of an analytical thing. And, you know, the doctors and the engineers is, everyone is fascinated mm -hmm. by that. But what I wanted to do is I want like science, arts and the humanities for my, in my mind, it was like cited because I, for me, it was very theoretical and I wanted to do something like technical or the analytical. Like, as I said, mathematics was the part which I got interested so I was like okay not humanities now let's see into science and commerce science was not of much of interest to me so I thought I want to explore commerce not just it's just not the reason only reason that I have chose commerce because other two are excluded but it is the reason because we have not studied like this in the past like 10 uh, till class and we haven't studied anything like this so it's a very new field I was like I was keen to discover it Okay, what is in this? Yes. So I was like, okay, let's go into commerce. In the first two months, I felt a bit confused because so we are studying business histories, you know, accountancy, the theories and all. But after a few months, when it got cast up by applying those theory into the questions, then okay, yeah, it was actually a good decision. It was like, okay, I I'm gonna go okay. go with that. Okay. But uh, in that class 11th and 12th again there was uh i loved accountancy because it got of more calculations and the logics also economics is full of logical without it you cannot go that mm. but it was more into accountancy and it was just right before two months uh the boards that i got i went i changed my decision that no i'm not gonna pursue become honest i am gonna go for economics on it mm. Because I wanted to, again, because that field is kind of more challenging than become honors. Both of them are very good. But this is what I, it was, it fascinates me a lot. So I started going through my economics books again, the basic theories and all our data and all. So I was like, okay, not become honors. I'm going to go for economics honors. In 11-12th also, I was the vice captain of our, our, our vice captain of our house. So in after in twelve, fortunately, I got ninety five point two five percent, which is a good criteria for Delhi University. But in that year, the cutoffs were very high. So, but fortunately, I got a regular college in Delhi University in mm -hmm. Shyam Prasad Mukherjee College. Yeah. So and entering college, like COVID was made me a bit of like before that I was like going into different fields. I did. 
a bit of nukkar natak and the theater part and the competitions in school stage going i was the kid but due to covid i was a bit uh, ambivert you can say but in the college that is why i my uh, my main you know agenda was to explore myself to give the college to make the college to pull us out of it yeah like because college is the uh, part which i feel to explore yourself and narrow down our priorities so that what we want to do later on yeah so that is why i was like he okay i will um, uh, get into the things in the uncomfortable situations which i have not been to earlier so i remember the first semester was online the classes were online the exams were online it was going at a good pace but as the, as soon as semester to started and our college started yeah i was the hap- like the not happiest kid i would say but the excited for what is coming my way okay uh, so i enrolled myself into like and the subjects were also like fascinating and we know first years economics is economics and maths they are very much coincided yeah now no, economics cannot go without maths because yeah. one reason i feel is because in, in economics we are giving the theories we are from the past trends and whatever policies we are making and mathematics makes it proven mm-hmm. by its application mm-hmm. so that's where i feel she mathematics that is why is along with it because it gives a way to make the things proven and we can apply into uh, the actual policies also but with the uh, proven results so i was interested more into like uh, even more than micro and macroeconomics i was like mme is my mme yeah. is what i used to do every day yeah so that subject fascinated me a lot because that a lot of problem solving things when is when your mind is com- when your mind is complex solving complex things that is like what is thing that concentration level in that part is very high so i was like a theory part we will do but this is has to be prioritized <laughs> then okay. in second then in second semester i evenly uh, equally i was into ki um, i have to go in the theater the dance i enrolled i gave auditions for like four to five societies unfortunately couldn't get into uh, those but i was into the environment club in our college and in that there were two events in us on a single day the first one was theater and the second one was dance com- uh, not competition but a performance and not mm-hmm. in a group mm-hmm. i enrolled in both of them okay so in the so that and the when we when like on to the plaza like the stage the uh, where we had to perform there was still a nervousness to perform in front of many people because after school in after class 11th i didn't do that and that covid wala uh, thing got a bit of like uh, dis- uh, detachment from this so that yeah. fear had to be uh, the that fear has to be uh, de- uh, overcome yeah. so that perform that day got me overcome out of my stage of uh, fear of stage yeah and then i performed for the departmental activities also there was almost no act no department no departmental activity in which i didn't volunteer wow like if if there is asked by pre- president or the vice president or anyone the, in the in that that we need a person in our technical team or the discipline team or this team or this team like gauri aroda is there <laughs> <laughs> any team is there <laughs> availability gauri aroda is there yeah so in that i was enrolled and uh, again subjects was fascinating the mathematical economics in semester 2 i feel it got better because uh, those like the topics which were there i was more interested in to those and uh, no but the only like not the only but the most subject the subject which i studied the most in that semester 2 was the mathematical economics but and when the results came out that was a bit of um this hatten because i didn't score as much as i accept i expected so i was very disheartened on that day but uh, through this i learned that not everything works with, with your plan like in, this, in du- during those 3 to 4 months i gave my whole heart to those sub- to that subject but even if i scored less it doesn't mean i didn't uh, i didn't uh, 
like work have worked hard for it or yeah. i didn't do it i did it that showed it ki it's okay you have to accept the things that do not go always with your plan yes <laughs> so uh like i won't say that big achievements have been done but yeah the small things you know uh make us learn things about ourselves and yeah. the how how we have to face the things in the future yeah. also yeah and in that in the first year was all about the studying and the uh, volunteers the competitions the even the farewells and freshers i was in the stage ki i am not going from the stage in that participating in that whether it's anchoring whether it's dance whether it's anything then it came second year as you know in third in three year economics batch uh as the cbcs second year is the toughest part as generally people's perspective is because i but my perspective is it is not difficult like it's not the no not uh, gone not gonna have to do it is like somewhat managing multitasking okay because we have different variety of subjects we have in third semester like we have statistics we have microeconomics we have macroeconomics which is intermediate level also we have generic elective generic elective in many cases in economics honors there is mathematics but in my case it was a uh, philosophy okay i i like i wanted to go with the diverse field also ki let's see how does this match okay so that and uh, in third semester we had data analysis subject also where we used to study the excel and uh, r programming which is used okay. for data an- analyst yeah yeah so i won't say that that year is very tough in semester 4 again we had econometrics subject that yeah. was i guess second year best subject was i can say that because that was very different from the others we see okay. microeconomics is the uh, you know flow of the previous part and macro is a flow of previous part but econometric econometrics was ve- it is unique it's in its own okay so i felt it both a little bit challenging also but fascinating also that yes we are going to here solve the problems and we are going to uncomfortable things so like into pro- problems which in which we have not been solved before or the concepts were very new yeah so i was keen to learn those yeah and uh, in the with these studies i feel the year is not tough it is about we have to manage a bit more better we okay. have to learn the managing thing because uh, mm. subjects are different it asks for us for different perspective to see something is more theoretical something is more practical and something is mix of it yeah so we have to we have to have a different approach for that yeah. and uh, not different but required approach for that yeah and in between we have to make a research paper also i am not sure if uh, if this is before or not but in my batch we had to make a research paper mm-hmm. uh, so that was done and in this third year with the studies i did uh, sports too now first i enrolled myself in baseball but then it got when but then i changed my name from it, from this to aerobics also yeah. in my college mm-hmm. it is compulsory for the hmm. students to uh, i guess in delhi university whole is compulsory for students yeah. to either ncc nss yeah. or the sports like extra curricular certificate you have to have it in yourself yeah yeah so uh, my ncc i did an ncc i gave i uh, went for the selection and in running i was certain because i just uh, eliminated because of 6 seconds the six in my uh, the person uh, in front of me got selected and from my uh, side i was just with six seconds distance was there i could be there but that's okay that's also learning yeah and nss i was uh, like i have seen the what is going on that but and that is why i was not in much uh, keen to do that because i saw after the covid it has been changed that we, it is more into the seminars and the webinars that are going on instead of uh, the actual social services ngo that we go. so mm-hmm. i was like i am going if i want to devote my time it has to be something like where i either i add value and i get value or the both yeah but in just having a two hour seminar and get the points out of it was uh not my thing so i went yeah. for the sports yeah and uh, in baseball i didn't chose uh, i mean i skipped that because 
uh, the economics need also needed time and yeah. the time with that giving to a very heavy things taking and carry those two is very difficult at once so i thought take it as uh, take something lightly and then i chose aerobics and in the and this year in february when there's a sports day uh, we performed and we got medals and certificates also Wonderful. i was selected thank you so much i was uh, selected for the team also but due to some uh, reasons uh, i didn't go there for the inter college competitions uh so then like i mean second year was also i did was that wholesome like studying is also matter but yeah somewhat when you when i when you give lot of time like for 24 hour things was uh, fully done because in the early morning i had sports and then regular classes and then coming home with very tiredness so it was very difficult to manage all of it but uh, it was worth it just the thing i want to say that uh, for the new juniors up here that uh, even uh, if you are like explore college to the fullest and explore yourself also but just don't forget that when when call when everybody is when everyone is saying that call is about fun and all and all you have to maintain a uh, score you have to study no matter what you yeah. cannot take it for granted you cannot take it for light yeah and uh, as third year came like uh, which in which i am in so uh, like uh, yeah i debated in debate i participated in debate competitions also i cleared first two rounds and got the final round also but at the last i got uh, not got selected for the winners but was uh, went to the first final round i wish yeah. i had pictures of that so i could uh, show it here but i don't have it okay and uh, i remember one or one more thing from second year that i participated in inter inter college dance competition and we received third prize in that yeah wow like Good. it was it was a group com group western dance competition it was again a uh, something which i learned because i was very very nervous going to the stage like i went to the stage for speaking or for in schools or colleges for speaking but not for as a uh, this performance Yeah. I was very nervous. Like I don't want to, you know, um, I don't want it to make it down. Yeah, yeah. The stage has to be light enough by that performance. It should not be down by that performance. Yeah. So very nervous. But uh, then I know we were a group of three people, and one, both of them were my seniors, and uh, one uh, who was a leader. She very much she motivated us, especially me, a lot because. i was not i my legs were shaking and was shivering and at the last moment we we thought that okay let's skip it i said uh, can we skip it like no we can not skip it <laughs> if you want to skip it skip it for whole skip it for life then uh, later on don't complain ki we should have gone to that yeah it it is your chance you have to make it yeah when when the uh, when we went to the stage it was just about 5 to 6 seconds it took to come into the con to get that confidence yeah. that yes this is my stage now <laughs> so <laughs> I, if i uh, the video we couldn't receive from the authorities i asked them a lot but uh, i we couldn't receive due to some technical issues but that was also a very good experience going into that but who And, designed the dance who was it a copy uh, of them Uh, no, no, no copy. We no. choreographed it. Uh, our leader mainly uh, choreographed me most of the steps, and we also added up in between that we can do the transition here. We can not transition like we can do the changes in the position here, and we can do these steps and these steps. Yeah. It was not taken from any like only one step was taken. Uh, it is a very uh, famous movie from RRR from India. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a nacha nacha step. That yeah. one was uh, we taken from here. Like so, is a main step of that. Uh, more other than that, it was totally choreographed by us. They're talking about natu natu. Yes, sir, natu natu. Yeah, the whole world knows natu natu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's that, a very that's good. That's a very good step there. I'm glad you took it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Like it, yeah. it actually got three to four days just to get to into that step. Yeah. Because it was confusing also. Yeah. But yeah, in when the stage when on the stage it got announced that third prize third winner goes to Shahpur and Mukherjee goes this group. I uh, मतलब uh, I I shouted 
the wow on uh, from the like from down the stage because that was the first time that I experienced this like and like and that a name is that I mean so that the name is, is being name is okay. you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> No, little bit nervous. It was today also there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but okay. uh, yeah, but that is the experience. I feel that we are not. Uh, मतलब not everybody is uh, in the starting. Not everybody is all uh, good at it. We just learn it through experiences and our mistakes. We just like need to beat. It's okay. The mistake has done. Yeah. But now we need to keep in mind what we could have done better. Yeah. And when okay. that situation comes. We have to see that okay, now not being nervous would work. Now being nervous wouldn't work. Yeah, it's like just you know, calming our mind down and now think rationally what is our situation yeah. is. And that's what I guess, and that's what I feel economics also tell us that we have to take rational decisions. Yeah, economics uh was not my uh favorite. Like it was, I it was a uh, subject I liked a lot. But was not my priority list before. But yes, it is now okay. because it offers a challenging, uh, you know, it offers a challenging thing that you have to work it for yourself. It won't if you don't study. If you won't study for it, it won't happen. No, but that's true exactly. for any subject. It won't exactly. happen. Exactly, no. it won't happen. But in theory, no. we can still write something. Especially if we're talking about exams, we can still write something. But when it comes to the analytical subjects like MME and the statistics and the economic and uh, econometrics, um, most possibly. we have to keep working hard so the challenges it offered uh with itself that's what i like to do and more of it i wanted to study economics uh because it is what i feel is it is psychology of people and the money both yeah like we are be considering people as individual also how does their behavior change and uh as a community also when it comes to households and the firms and through that market like through those behaviors market works and through yeah. that market the prices works and with that price consequently uh, firms or the firms or the households uh, make their changes yeah so that's what i feel is very uh, um, like coincide with what we uh, should um, learn as a individual also and yeah. of course if we learn this thoroughly we uh, in future we can see how its policies are formed formed with it and i and also teachers also play a very a uh, big role in shaping this because uh, i want to tell you that how my maths interest came out because of my teachers in class 10 they got me into how to solve a problem that curiosity uh, that uh, they came they aroused a curiosity in me that you have to solve this problem and and you know how to you this is the mm. concept you have to mm. solve this now use your mind and how to solve this problem mm uh -hmm. so that curiosity in me okay i want to solve this and i can take it for hours okay similarly economics also this thing like uh, we are in final we are studying international trades and all so there are many models like ricardian model hecksher olin model and later on we see how the uh, tariffs works the import quotas the export quotas and all of the all of these things work in real world yeah. and i feel when the when we are studying the books in how real world trade does the economy works it is very fascinating to learn actually what's going on in there okay it, till second year it is not particular idea that how public policies are making but when it comes to third year like uh, i'll give my own example and my peers example also in till third year we used to ask our teachers i i'm a professors Means until the second year even, that ma'am, what is the use of studying this model when when there are lot of closed assumptions and we are not even applying it right now? Yeah, ma'am, you should said this answer that you cannot apply this story as it is right now. Later on, you will uh open up these assumptions. That's when the model become complex, and yeah. we know that in economics and in an economy generally, at a single point of time there is. no this is not possible that every factor works uh, good yeah. there has there is always one or two factors at least mm -hmm. which are not which are not working well yeah. but we have to that is why we say other things constant yes yes because yes. we have to deal with the major major problem right now then we will see the distortions what are coming there okay
so in third year i feel yeah that is why we are going out like in semester 4 also when our macroeconomics professor was teaching us i used to ask many questions like ma'am why uh, like why in this model this is working and this is not working out in many of my questions ma'am used to say that you will study this in fourth semester and later on this master's economics when you will reap out the more assumptions and you will get the others uh, evolved models yeah so that in third year i'm realizing a bit because in public economics there is a lot of microeconomics applications yes in international trade yeah. there is a lot of macroeconomics applications yes and uh, econometrics i didn't choose uh, this year i took public and uh, international trade as my optional subjects because yes. i was honestly i am interested in all of the economics subjects like yeah. sub subject it covers but you know we we know that we prioritize our uh, subjects okay this is the most we want to study yes like my main agenda my main agenda uh, through these years regarding choice of any subject or anything was like i want to study this subject yeah and how it works in the real world yeah these two things yeah also the challenging because agar uh, if the things are very comforting it it is like it becomes a comfort zone then uh, th that work, that hard working skill won't be there that yeah. so problem solving skill won't be there so it was like okay so a bit of challenging but yeah. a bit of applicability also yeah. so that's why i chose this subject semester 4 my uh, say my like one of the top priority subjects of subjects which i did the most was econometrics yeah because it is very different and its own as i said earlier yes microeconomics yes. is the flow macroeconomics is the flow but econometrics in itself is the different like it is not even uh, pure mathematics it is not even pure economics yes we are just deriving something new variables we are doing the new concepts wholly new concepts and then we are making regressions like i cannot uh, uh, like say in the words excitement when i when i uh, when i uh draw my first regression in the uh, software yeah while doing my research projects also i use both excel and the regression thing yeah so that uh new things it's like it um, keeps us going all right if the same thing is going on the just the comfort zone is going on then uh, my personal view is that we uh, take it of take it for granted but but if there is something new we try to solve it ki what yeah. is this yeah so in third year i am exploring the things uh in the past i uh, honestly speaking the past uh one year i was what to do right now i was very unsure because i was i am interested into data analyst skills also but i wasn't like, uh, very sure ki what i have to do right now or right after graduation since third year is coming up you know in third year a lot of mind uh, thoughts are like everyone everyone is planning the what everyone has planned even what they are going to do and what uh, are they going to plan at least or the next step is there mine was i am not sure okay but uh, later on i uh, i thought let's go with the hidden trials with the options okay then i came to a decision that okay in third year i'll prepare for uh, either mba or a masters in economics entrance which is yeah. more i am interested in masters economics to pursue indian economic services later on yeah uh, that is why i am in third year i am preparing now for entrances and my target is to get isi and isi idr at uh, priorities yeah. yeah and after the results we'll see what happens okay great so you are not looking for a job yet uh right now no sir i want to complete i uh, complete my studies but also i want to like explore economics field more dig deep into that okay wonderful okay so you have had a good time in college with lot of co curricular activities and uh, yeah, indeed and enjoying the courses and all wonderful that's a great experience i must say it's good to Thank hear you, it's good to hear that people are able to get such an experience right okay anything else you want to add here um sir if you have questions you may ask no i don't ask questions it's your turn to speak <laughs> and you have something to say i am happy to listen okay it's, this have, is different uh, fun oh, sorry this is different from interviews this is not <laughs> an interview it's, 
it's your time actually it's a great great platform for that because yeah. uh, uh like showcasing what it's our mind what's in yeah. our mind yeah that is also a very big deal for students to do yeah it is it and it's a big deal for me to listen okay <laughs> i need to understand what's happening with young people and uh, this is if i direct you then i'm not hearing what you want i'm just hearing what i want so let's That's hear from you that's a great you. thought process yeah. sir so very let's hear from you imagine. so um not much i i have said uh, i have told a lot of things uh, already just to add one to two crisp lines yeah that uh, especially for juniors who are uh, who are either pursuing economics or are going to pursue economics uh, trust me this is uh, not the journey which uh, like in general if i say not everything will go according to your plan things will go on plan but they will tell you what uh you what you should do in that and what and what you should not do in that yeah and while you are in college explore to its fullest the max you can yeah because this time won't ever come if we uh, even if it's even if you are pursuing masters or you're yeah. going for job after bachelors yeah. you won't be you won't have the you won't have this time where you are actually kind of very free yeah from the other uh, you know pressurized things or uh, the societal or the peer pressure burdens you are very free in that so explore yourself narrow down your priorities by yeah. that how will you do gaining a lot of different experiences yeah narrow down your priorities but a party also like enjoy also but not every day that will you get bored in not every day parties are allowed <laughs> Uh, having right. fun is also important, but yeah. uh, personality level, personality development also plays a maximum role in plays a major role in long run. Yeah, honestly, this is from my personal experience that both of the things are important. Okay, personality development as well as uh, go into societies, get yourself into the societies, make your best out of it, but don't forget to study. Don't take it for granted. No. Your okay. score actually, your degree matters. Your yeah. score matters. Okay. There are, I have, uh, honestly, I get many uh, like lines or comments from many college students, uh, in whether in my college or my batch or other college also that uh, even social media also is like, very influencing and but you don't have to get influenced from all of that because i have i have seen the people like a college is about just about fun it is just about going out just about freedom it is about knowing what is rational what yeah. matters yeah and what you should do in long what you should not do actually mm -hmm. gain gain yourself a lot of experiences and then go ahead then what you have to do because later on also you will have to do it but you won't be as free as you are right now yeah okay yeah all right so that's that, great yeah. all right let's end it here and see if we can catch up with you one year from now see what you are doing uh, but let's say bye to the viewers i'll be back with another young person or an expert soon bye till then bye everybody thank you everyone